Good morning, A Bird Friend and Fam. Let's do a quick little dive <clears throat> into one of my favorite little single shot 22 rifles made by Winchester. Bolts to the rear, chamber, of course, is clear. So now we know for a fact we have a safe firearm on the table in front of us. So I'm going to give about a handful of quick little facts. Uh, the Winchester 67 was produced from 1934 to 1963. One of the cool, groovy little facts about that is, is that due to the fact that Gun Control Act went into place in 1968, Winchester Model 67, 67As, produced before that, made for the U.S. market, have no serial number. They're what's known as non-serial number or no serial number, however you want to put that. The only ones that were serialized, and from my research, I found that there's an unknown number of them were ones that were made for the foreign export market. Um, these little rifles come in at a whopping rate right about five pounds. The average barrel length is 27 inches. And average retail cost in 1960 was $18.95. The cool part about it is, is these little Winchester rifles were produced in such numbers that even on today's market, they're still an affordable, reliable 22 short, long and long rifle, single shot rifle. So I like it because it's very humbling. There's no setup for an optic whatsoever. So you're gonna use your V-notch rear sight. You're gonna use your nice front sight post, which this one is brass, so I cleaned it up so that it contours a little bit. But these rifles, you have no problem making shots out to 100 yards with decent 22 long rifle ammo. Some of the cool things, or things that make it nifty, is the fact that when you close the bolt, it doesn't fire because you did not cock the firing pin behind the sear. You must manually set the firing pin by pulling it back, which then allows you to engage the safety, which flips over, and then does not allow the firing pin to move forward. Take it off safe. And as always, with 22 long rifle, dry firing your 22 long rifle, when the firing pin engages the chamber, it will actually roll a burr into it, and then you'll have problems with chambering and extracting. So, like on the Mausers and everything else, I'm going to go ahead and ease the firing pin down as I press the trigger. Give a couple little quick close ups. I like this rifle because even being six foot one and 240 pounds, I can easily sh comfortably shoulder this rifle. I can also take my junk bin of random 22. The great part about these rifles, basically the old adage, if it fits, it ships. If it goes in the chamber and it's going to go off nine times out of 10, these are going to set it off. Um, great affordable little piece of history. So for this Y Wednesday, why I like the Winchester 67. These were also made in a short 20 inch heavy bull barrel with a chrome trigger guard and chrome bolt known as the boys rifle. I do have one of those as well. I don't have one at the shop at the moment. But if you're looking for an affordable, reliable, lasting 22 long rifle, in my opinion, it's really hard to go wrong with the Winchester Model 67. So for today's Why Wednesday, that's why I like the Winchester 67, along with a handful of random facts that most people may or may not know about the Winchester Model 67. As always, everybody stay safe, stay good to each other. Things are crazy. By the way, it's hot. It's hot everywhere. It's hot over here. It's hot over there. Drink water. Get those electrolytes in. That's all I got. Until next time, out.